Hey everyone, welcome back to The Coily Code. Today, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am trying a DIY protein mask on my hair. I prefer to do protein treatments every six weeks, and I have been eyeballing this particular recipe, and I'll be sure to credit the YouTube channel that I got this from. But for a long time, I had an aversion to DIY treatments of any kind because you had licensed cosmetologists and hairstylists really speaking against DIY treatments. You know, they would say things like, you should be eating the food that you're putting on your hair. But then I always go back to nature and our human ancestors who did not have manufactured hair products and they also didn't have tools and fancy things and they had long beautiful gorgeous hair so it can't be that detrimental <laughs> so this is also the beauty of catering your regimen to your liking and so for me i wanted to try this and i have that freedom to experiment because it's my hair so without further ado let me share with you a little bit of my experience with this and i will say that initially i wasn't 100 percent that my hair was protein sensitive or not so as you notice the recipe the original one at least called for you know three five eggs or no not five eggs five teaspoons of mayonnaise three eggs and so i kind of doubted back on the protein heavy ingredients just to be cautious and so yeah so i of course i you know catered or adjusted the recipe to fit my hair and like i said i'm not even sure if i'm protein sensitive or not but you know you just i didn't want to overload here and um my hair has obviously with the protective style challenge it is much drier of course than my wash and go regimen and so i realized as well that i would have to make adjustments to how often i detangled my hair moisturize it because Think about it, if you leave your hair alone for two weeks on end, or some women can go three weeks, four weeks, months, that's so much shed hair trapped in your hair. And while I am an advocate and fan of finger detangling my coily hair, I did come to a point in my regimen that I realized, you know, at least every quarter, or especially when I'm protective styling, I should take a comb or a detangling brush through my hair. So this today was the first time I have put a comb on my hair since January. And I will say I was very concerned because I wasn't sure with skipping my trims if I was gonna have a difficult time detangling my hair. But my hair is about two weeks out of cornrows, which I will never do again. I don't know why I did cornrows to begin with. <laughs> but since my hair was already in a stretched state, I think that also made detangling a lot easier. But I was very gentle. I took my time. I did not force that brush through any tension or anywhere where my hair just did not want it to go through. I just didn't push it all the way. I just kept slowly and gently easing my hair and the comb or the brush together. So I had a wonderful time with this treatment, applying it and also detangling with my tangle teaser brush. And another thing I wanna share that I was super surprised about was how my ends, or actually first the definition that this particular mask gave my hair. My hair took to this treatment so well I was very surprised at the increased definition or I don't even know it's like it was like high definition <laughs> you know I I have a technique on how to get you know super defined hair with my wash and goes but when I say that this protein treatment gave me high definition it was incredible and I'll share with you guys a little up close up close clip pretty soon but as I was talking about my ends, I was concerned that again, there would be a lot of tangles on the end and that would be usually a good sign or indication that you need to trim. And so I had a trim scheduled for March because I had a system that I would trim my hair every quarter, but I'm not doing that. I did that last year and it's no wonder that I didn't see growth in my hair. I'm seeing length more because I've put the scissors down. And when you're wearing your hair natural and it's coily, curly state, there's no need to do trims. 
at least if you're someone that's using combs or you're straightening it or you're using styles that showcase your ends then yeah i think you do need to trim them regularly for aesthetic reasons but for someone like me who rarely wears their hair stretched or straightened i thought to myself there's no reason for me to be trimming my hair this often so i didn't and it also helped that this detangling session with that brush was not difficult i really thought to myself like wow my ends are doing pretty good I, I mean I'm whatever I'm doing I'm gonna keep doing you know people would put a lot of fear in your heart about wash and goes and single strand knots and all and whatnot but honey let me tell you my hair <laughs> my ends have been doing great and I last trimmed them in January so I was really happy to see that my efforts are working and so yeah so anyway enjoy the rest of this video I'll come back in a few I really suggest that anyone who wants to try a really good DIY protein treatment take this one for a go you know of course adjust the ingredients according to your protein sensitivity but I'm really happy with this and I will definitely be doing this every six weeks to keep my hair strengthened my hair felt very strengthened and I left this in for about 20 minutes after applying it because I know it had already been on for a good chunk of time so I did 20 minutes the recipe had called for an hour but again I just wanted to test the waters first but it was incredible my hair soaked all of it in and it reacted wonderfully to it and so I highly recommend it and I thank you to the YouTube channel um, for sharing this because this was definitely a game changer for me and kind of opens the doors for me to, you know, try out some more DIY treatments. We'll see. But definitely starting with this was very helpful. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs this video up, comment below, and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. God bless. Bye.